Looking up or down Biltmore's grand staircase may be a bit dizzying. But now consider the 120-year-old landmark that's long intimidated David Turacamo, our man in Paris. Look at it. The Eiffel Tower. You know, I, I've seen it in every kind of light, season, and mood. But I've never seen it from the top. That's because I'm terrified of heights. Not kidding. Um, but today, I'm going all the way up. The tower was actually built for the World's Fair of 1889 in Paris. And the plan was it was going to be torn down 20 years later. Actually, it wouldn't have been built in the first place if it hadn't been for the courage of its architect, Gustave Eiffel. I see you're terrified by the heights. Yes, you're going to be all right. All right, so here's Antoine Daval, guide, photographer, ticket taker. And that day, he was my personal escort to the top. Off we go. Allons-y. At 1,000 feet, it was not only the tallest building of its day, but a dazzling architectural achievement. Down below, a 19th century erector set, cogs and counterweights. Eric Trond is head of the engineering crew, and he was my guide down here. The dashboard de la machine. Jules Verne was still writing novels when these were installed. So little has changed in 120 years that Eric still uses the original blueprints for routine maintenance. And as they have for decades, he lubricates the pistons with oxen grease. That's right, grease from an ox. Only because. Alors avant c'était de la graisse de mouton, mais on peut plus en avoir. Ah, uh, the French. It's basically a hydraulic system. Water-filled counterweights, 200 tons each, pull the elevators to the top. Though a century ago, many people hoped it would never get off the ground. Le monde descend, vous changerez l'ascenseur pour le sommet. You have the second floor, you'll have to catch another lift for the top. You're halfway. So we're going to go outside. When plans for the tower were announced, the French hated it. Editorials said it looked like a nail and would destroy the landscape. One neighbor filed a lawsuit and delayed construction. They even spread rumors and tried to discredit him personally. Instead, Eiffel saw the possibilities of using his tower for weather forecasting, radio antennae, and military communications. And after building bridges and train terminals across Europe, he knew how to turn wrought iron into this gracefully sloping silhouette. Are you still terrified? Because we, ha we have to go all the way there, all the way to the top. Can you see that up there? Okay, last part of the tower, the most narrow part of it. So the elevators have to be different sizes, which means you make the ascent in three stages, till finally, this, this is the top. The best view uh -huh. from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. To me, uh, you have to do something for me to do that. What? Wait a second. Uh, uh, oh, the French, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I, I did learn something up there that day, which is to reach the pinnacle of great design requires some courage. The symbol of Paris and even of France. Yeah, a lot of courage.